How is myeloma staged? What is the revised international staging system? Sure, great question. So, um, of course, once we establish the diagnosis of any cancer, the next question, the next uh, task is to determine the extent uh, of the disease. Uh, what's the disease burden? And uh, the best way to determine that in a reproducible way is to uh, determine the stage of the disease. And uh, for that, of course, uh, myeloma a specialist and international myeloma working group has come up with this uh, international staging system. Now a quick note about why myeloma is staged the way it is. In cases of solid tumors like breast cancer, you stage by the size of the tumor. But in myeloma, it's all over the body so you can't stage that way. Myeloma is a complicated disease. This is why it has proven difficult to come up with a staging system that applies to all myeloma patients. As Dr. Kazelbash will explain, the original myeloma staging took into account albumin and beta-2 microglobulin. The newest version of myeloma staging, the revised ISS, takes into account another blood marker, LDH and the high-risk genetics of your disease. The more we learn about myeloma, the more staging of the disease may continue to evolve over time. So the original international staging system, which was again based on a lot of data from clinical trials and observation, uh, showed that uh, two factors, beta-2 microglobulin and serum albumin, determined the stage of the disease. Uh, uh, that high beta-2 microglobulin or low albumin basically determined uh, the stage of the disease, high beta-2 microglobulin bad, low albumin bad. So patients at I, uh, ISS stage one, when they had uh, a beta-2 microglobulin level of uh, less than 3.5 or serum albumin of 3.5 or higher, which, were, which was normal, uh, or ISS stage Three, where they had a very high beta-2 microglobulin of more than 5.5, and in between was ISS stage 2. But then we and others learned that there are additional factors, like LDH level, a protein uh, that we all have in our blood, but it can go up in certain cancers, including multiple myeloma. So people started taking into consideration LDH level. Another important factor is cytogenetics, uh, um, those chromosomal abnormalities. So the revised ISS staging system, international staging system, uh, um, took into consideration, took into account not just beta-2 microglobulin and albumin, but also uh, chromosomal abnormalities on fish studies, as well as LDH level. So in very simple terms, in revised ISS stage one is what was the old ISS stage one was, that is low beta-2 microglobulin and normal to high albumin. Uh, but with that, these patients should also have normal LDH and they should not have any high-risk chromosomal abnormalities. And there are three of those that are incorporated in the revised ISS staging system. Deletion 17P, which we all know is a high-risk abnormality, translocation 414 and translocation 1416. So patients should not have either of these three and should have normal LDH in addition to the old ISS stage one. On the other hand, ISS stage three patients would have what, uh, or revised ISS stage three patients would have the old ISS stage three plus either a high LDH level, and then each institution has its own upper limit of normal. And if it is above that limit, it is high LDH, and that would put patient in revised ISS stage three. Or, and, or uh, patients have one of those three chromosomal abnormalities on FISH studies that I outlined, uh, uh, deletion 17P, translocation 414, or translocation 1416. And then of course, those who do not fall either in revised ISS stage one or revised ISS stage three are revised ISS stage two.